Ah, g'day. Welcome to Farming Live Australia. Through the week one of my subscribers asked me about an Australian made fence clip that I had seen on YouTube. So I went back and had another look at it just to refresh my memory and it sort of got me thinking about it. It's something we don't use with cattle. I think it's more probably sheep people and that use it. But I sort of got thinking about it and I thought well it'd be pretty easy to make them. You know they're nothing special. And then I sort of got thinking further and I thought, well, would there be a better design? And I'm going to bend up one of these clips myself just with the pliers and show you what they look like and then see if we can make something that actually makes them. Okay, very roughly, this is the idea. And I've just bent up a bit of wire out of pliers to try and show you the idea. And, hold, and that will hold the wire. It goes that way and your post would be up there like that, that would hold the wire and then a screw could be put through there like that and it would be screwed to the post. Now I, I think it has some merit, I think there's a little way to go but it has some merit the high here because everybody's got battery tools and let's face it we've come a little way and in Australia with hardwood it's really hard to drive staples into hardwood Anyway, I do think a battery rattle gun is a lot easier for a lot of people to use, particularly with the good screws we've got today. I'm going to now see if there's any way I can make something to make those clips and also maybe even improve on the idea a bit. This disc that I'm using on the grinder at the moment is called a surface conditioning disc and probably some of you aren't familiar with them but if you want to really give your stuff a really good finish they're excellent. Okay, I've got my basic thing worked out how I imagine it might work and I'm just going to play around with it and see what's possible. What I thought with this was that I'd be able to bend up the basic shape of the cliff and then just bend it in half and that would create the clip. But bending the clip in half proved to be fairly difficult without distorting the shape of it. Here's one clip that I created with that machine, although it proved fairly difficult to bend it in half, but I did get there. And I think if you made that out of 8 gauge, it would be a really strong clip. Obviously once you got going you'd have your wires the right length 
I'm still experimenting here and I'm cutting it as I go but if I was doing a heap of them I'd have it the right length and I wouldn't need to do that step. So the machine so far bends up the actual clips in the right shape and works fine. Now all we have to do is bend that at 90 degrees to the way I just bent it and it will make the clip. Sounds easy unfortunately I run into trouble at this point. After thinking all night on it and wondering what I was going to do I changed tack completely. It took a lot of thinking and drawing drawings and mucking around but I think I might have come up with the answer now. So this is what I've made this block of steel so far and I actually made it out of two pieces and drilled the holes in two pieces and then welded it together to make it. With a bit of luck this is going to work. Luckily the key that I've got is going to still work because that, that took the most amount of manufacturing. My idea is that's going to go on there and I'm going to have to put something here perhaps. The machine's nowhere near finished. What I'm just doing is trying it out so far and seeing if the principles seem sound. And it seems okay but it's obvious that I've got to make some modifications. Well, not really modifications, I've got to add more to it to make it a bit more user friendly. So you can see even at this stage it does make a workable clip. But I think it's got a little bit more to go, I can improve this a lot. Here I'm just tapering the end of the rod that goes through the machine just to make it a little bit more user friendly. I've now added a couple of bits of angle iron and I'm going to grind a groove on each side for the wire to sit in so it contains the wire and makes it fairly good and snug in those grooves. I should mention this is not a thick grinding disc it's one about two and a half mil thick it's actually called a blending disc and they're made of a lot finer substance than the normal grinding disc. Again I don't know how long the wire needs to be or anything about it and I'm just sort of playing it by ear and seeing what happens. On this first attempt when I had the machine reasonably finished I sort of I did a few things wrong and I had to learn as I went along and it is important later on that I work out how long that wire needs to be and cut it before I start. But as I went along, I sort of realised I was doing things a bit wrong and I did get a lot better. Although, it did make a clip straight off. This was one important area where I found I was going wrong, bending both those wires up at the same time. That was a mistake. In between this one and the last one I had a bit of a think about it and I managed to work out that I needed to just bend one arm completely and then do the other arm and then I started to really get somewhere. Again, the length of the wire is not quite right but it is making clips and Actually, they turning out okay. After a fair bit of trial and error, what I discovered was that if I had the wire about one inch past the angle line at the end there, where my finger is now, it worked out pretty right. Again, I cut the wire one inch longer than where the little post is. 
now I feel as if I'm really starting to get somewhere I can knock them out pretty quick at this stage however I just think there's one little improvement I could do to these clips to make them a little bit better again I've got a good inch sticking out past the end and same procedure but this time I'm going to change how I make the clip a little tiny bit and I think it's going to improve things a fair bit by this stage it's getting to be fairly automatic for me I've still got to think a bit like here I lifted that up only to get it out of my road but I didn't need to this is the bit where I think there's an improvement I'm bending this around further than it is in the original clip and you'll see the result of this in a minute again I'm cutting this off a good inch past the end of the little bar where you turn it round you'll notice now that I've bent those little legs around a lot shorter and it makes the screw become completely encapsulated in the clip I thought at this stage I'd give it a bit of a go and see if I could actually make one work so that piece of wood in the bent vise represents the post and I've just used an old screw that I had that I happened to think it work were the appropriate screw it seems to work in metal no problem at all and actually I'm quite enjoying making them now and mucking around with it and I have actually thought of a couple of areas where I could change the way we do fencing and use them and I probably will on a wet day go over the shed and enjoy making a few clips for a bit of something to do I'm just gonna wake one more I can't stop making them now I should say with this machine there's a few things you could do to improve it and make it a bit more user friendly here where I'm doing this you could make a handle to do that if you wanted to you could also make a gauge for the length of your wire pre-cut your wires would help a bit I suppose the bloke that manufactures these won't be too happy for me to promote making them yourself but I only need a few and I don't want to go and buy a box of a thousand of them. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.